I'd like to now cover the muscles for movement of the ankle and toe. To give you an orientation, we're looking at the posterior aspect of the thigh. You can see the semitendinosus and membranosus. And over here on the lateral aspect is the biceps femoris. Moving inferiorly, you can see the gastrocnemius. The gastrocnemius has its origin on the medial and lateral condyles of the femur. Its insertion is by through the Achilles tendon onto the calcaneus. Its action is for plantar flexion of the foot and it also flexes the lower leg. Deep to the gastrocnemius, seen here peeking out from underneath, is the soleus. The soleus has its origin. Its origin is on the fibula and tibia. Its insertion is again on the calcaneal tendon leading to the calcaneus and its action is for plantar flexion of the foot. To show you another perspective of the soleus, I'm removing the gastrocnemius and you can see the soleus which is deep to it. Moving to the anterior aspect of the lower leg, you can now see the tibialis anterior. The tibialis anterior has its origin on the lateral condyle and tibial shaft. Its insertion is the medial cuneiform and first metatarsal, and its action is it is the prime mover of dorsiflexion. Shown on the lateral aspect of the lower leg, you can see this muscle, the fibularis longus. It starts way up here. Its origin is the head of the fibula. It inserts on the first metatarsal and medial cuneiform, and it causes plantar flexion and foot eversion.